Hello you guys, welcome back to Bookish Ramblings. Today is going to be a super quick video. I just wanted to share with you my super tiny TBR for Read in the New Year 2024. This is a readathon that has been going on for the past few years and it happens for a week in January every year and it was created by Holly and Oshina. I will have their announcement and their TBR videos down below so be sure to check those out. I managed to fit three books for all seven prompts so let's talk about them. The first prompt is is lose weight and that is to read a book under 250 pages and for that one I have Room for Cream by Erin Mangum. This is book four in the Maya Davis series and this is like Christian contemporary romance. I've never read this one before. I got it for Christmas and I'm super excited to read this one so it is just a little bit shorter than 250 pages. Yeah I'm really excited to continue this series. Number two is eat healthy. Read a book that has food as a part of the story or on the cover. And again, I'm going with Room for Cream for this one because coffee counts. Coffee is, it's, it's a food. It counts. Don't argue with me. Number three is Drink More Water. Read a book that has water on the cover or in the title. I could use this one again because you need water to make coffee. But I decided to go with Cascade by Lisa T. Berger. And this is book two in the River of Time series. And it's the River of Time series, Cascade, water cascading. It's water. I'm super excited to continue this series. This is... Christian YA time travel medieval times yeah super excited to continue this one I loved book one when I read it last year number four is social media detox and that's to read a book that's set in the past historical fiction that sort of thing and again I'm going with this one because it is it's time travel these girls go back in time to medieval Italy. Number five is make a new friend. Read a new to you author. And for that one, I'm going with For Darkness Shows the Stars by Diana Peter Frund. I don't know how to say her last name. This book was gifted to me by a very, very sweet person. And so I'm really excited to get into this. This is apparently, I think it's, it's secular, but I believe it's clean and it's supposed to be inspired by Persuasion by Jane Austen, but it's like I was going to say sci-fi because of the stars, but I don't think so. I think it's just dystopian. So I'm like really interested. Um, this is book one in a series, but I think there's only like two books and then like some novellas. I'm not sure if there's going to be any more books or if that's it. But yeah, I'm like super intrigued by this and I love me a good dystopian. So I'm like really excited. Number six is exercise more, read a book in a series. And any of these books could work. They're all part of a series. Number seven and the last prompt is to save money. Read a book you didn't pay for. Both of these count as a book I didn't pay for. So yeah, those are the books that I am picking for the readathon. I'm super excited. Um, since it's only three and I only have a week, it's very doable for me, especially because this one is super short. Wish me luck. Oh, I didn't even tell you. Um, the readathon, the dates for it, it goes from January 14th to January 22nd. So you have seven days. Wish me luck. Let me know down in the comments if you're planning to participate in this readathon. Um, even if you're not, just let me know if you've read any of these books and what you thought. Let me know what you've been reading lately. Hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next Bookstore Links video. Bye.